um this car was brought into my workshop with um, a case of overheat so i was um trying to check why the car will be overheating although when you brought it there was no signs of um, it overheating but when i opened this radiator cap there was no water inside then i tried to top the water off and um before i started the car i tried to check the oil and this is what i noticed you can see the oil should be either black or clay in color well you can see this one is like meekish gray like brownish in color this is the symptoms of water mixing with the engine oil inside the car and um, the car was also misfiring on one cylinder and that's a sign that that cylinder is the one losing compression water is getting into the cylinder I'm gonna be starting up this car and you see that water will pump out here that's a result of compression from inside the engine getting into the cooling system and that's a sign of a blown head gasket this engine will be coming down this is a 4GR engine you cannot change the head gasket with the engine inside the engine has to come down to change the head gasket so we are about starting the car now you see that this water is going to pump up and keep pumping up due to the compression that's the engine compression this car has a blown head gasket shut off the car um, i'm a whole thing this whole engine there are two methods of taking out the engine the very difficult method which is taking it out through the up top here and the very easy method which is taking it out through the bottom but the problem now is taking it out through the bottom the car needs to be on a hoist or very high above the ground so i want to experiment with something if i can actually crane the whole car up have it packed on an axle stand very high if that will be a possibility i'm going to try taking the car the engine out down if it's not going to be a possibility then i'm going to try the difficult method taking it out through the through the top now this is the whole rubbers that i've brought out to actually sort out my boat so that i don't mix boats up uh, i'll be carrying you guys along on um how we do this so i'm about taking out the bonnet now so this is how fast far we've walked today on this car so we're running out for tonight so i'll be going um i'll be starting up again tomorrow taking off everything here morning now we've resumed this assembly already on this so i've already found a way to take out this ec wire we're going on that there to take out this um these shafts over there and uh, taking out this um front differential and the front shaft as well so we'll be carrying guys along as the work keep going we're taking out the exhaust on that and the rest yeah so um this is how far we've gone on this repair so far it's quite a job we even had to take out the compressor the alternator and even the front transfer case over there you can see it's over there that's front transfer case all the exhausts are down starter motor is down the exhaust too is down manifolds are down the engine sitting is down so it's quite a lengthy job it's not just something you just get through to all the time and um Assemble everything back. And it's going to be good as new again. This car really, really did suffer serious overheat. You can see the, you can see the inside. The crazy thing about this IS2 is that the shaft goes through the engine. I don't know who the hell, which engineer just thought that it is cool to suffer the mechanic like this. Engineers are wicked. Engineers hate mechanics. Now this is what the engine oil of a, a, a car that pumps its head gasket and it's mixing with engine um, engine oil and coolant looks like. Look at it. 
because inside the inside the engine the engine should be brown or black and now we're having milkish gray which is wrong then we open up the engine from this valve here from this one open up this top cylinder here from this block engine you would see what i'm talking about where the engine actually burnt up and uh, hopefully this cylinder has not wrapped the cylinder has not wrapped then we'll just be replacing the gasket the cylinder has wrapped we'll be needing to replacing the cylinder so you can see what the engine oil looks like that's pretty much it yep. so here yeah, here it is this is the part of the gasket that got burnt yeah and this is where it's mixing from yeah You can see even this part of the engine is where we get water. I think it's just bangers misfiring. Mm. You can see this place is even it's quite better and dry than this other place here. So that's it. So we are done assembling. I'm about to get it back into the car now. Everything sharply assembled. So all the valves have already been cleaned, all the inlet valves have already been cleaned from carbon that is common with all IS250s. So, that is it. This is the progress on the job so far. We've installed the engine inside and we've mounted the axle to the axle, you can see there. And I've filled it with new axle oil, that's the oil stain you see there. We are installing the shafts right now, the left and right shafts there. So, we're installing the, the, the bolts that snapped on the um, con condensers, I've gone to remove it. So, we're installing everything to make sure that the job is clean, start off the car, see if it's no longer mixing, go for a test drive. So this is day two and we've rounded up this repair we've assembled everything on this car now and we're about to start the car to see how it runs we've cleaned everything up you can see we will not put coolant we'll try to start the car up first before we put coolant in to make the whole gasket shellac on the gasket dry up and um pretty much it we're gonna start the car now so these are the gaskets that were changed there several tools used so start for the engine So it's going to do a bit of a delay start and a bit of rough idling before it actually works because this whole thing was taken apart. And, um, start up. Can I start? Yeah. Moment of truth. Yeah, this is absolute normal because of the foil priming and all. Okay. Bar start. So now it started. I think the foil, the, the pistons were so I can see oil coming out there because of the oil on the pistons there. So the engine has finally started. So the car is steaming now, the engine is working properly. You can see gasket replaced successfully. 